chasing him yesterday And he had stole himself away He had to take extreme caution Because they were very strong Now this story is, it concerns uh, Alex's fellow musician in London, the other violinist who, who composed and played that beautiful song at the beginning. He tried to play this song outside the Ecuadorian embassy and he was forbidden to do so. So now Alex is going to play that song for Julian right now in Sydney, but she's going out to the world. And she's told me that she's actually studied his version of it. Yep. So she's going to, this is a homage to Alex Taylor, as well as the wonderful Julia Assange and the essential WikiLeaks. <laughs> Ecuadorian in the city. 
talk about United States and Russia again. Now they come to expose them and these all this day. Now they want me to expose them because of Russia again. We are live outside the embassy of the United States. We're in Wellington and there are emergency actions planned all over the world. 25 cities, 11 countries. Protect Julian! Julian! <laughs> Chasing him yesterday And he had to stow himself away He had to take extreme caution Because they were very strong But they had to 
let him be in the Ecuadorian embassy. Because he exposed them, disrobed them, Julian the Sun. He exposed them, disrobed them. Protecting their war machine, they don't care for diplomacy when protecting their dodgy schemes. Chasing him yesterday Now they want to make deal today To talk about United States And Russia Gate Expose them enemies of their state. Now they want him to expose them because of Russia Gate. He exposed them, disrobed them, Julian the Sun.
woman when you walk my way with your pepper spray all i can do is watch your hips sway so come on now police woman in your blue uniform let me turn you on arrest me arrest me arrest me police woman don't you know that I will turn you on with your own baton I will turn you on with your handcuffs on Come on, police woman in your blue uniform Let me turn you on by failing to speak out against the legal wars and the attacks on this, this journalist who has actually provided the real truth and the deceit of Western governments. There's no investigative, investigative journalism in our lifetime who, who is equal in importance in terms of the information he has provided through WikiLeaks. He's called rapacious power to account. He's shown that, that our governments are supporting 70% of the military um, dictatorships around the world, um, including Saudi Arabia, which has an appalling record in, in terms of human rights and the treatment of women, but also is, is attacking on behalf of the United States Yemen. And, and we know that millions of people are a threat now in Yemen of starvation because they're closing the last, last port there, which is providing the human, humanitarian um, aid. At the same time, the, the drone exit execution that we don't really hear of, of innocent people all through the Middle East and any part of the world. Malcolm Turnbull can remain silent or he can seize this opportunity and use his, his government's diplomatic influence to defend the life of, a, of an Australian citizen, a, a, a really top Australian citizen, whose courageous public service is recognised by countless people across the world. He can bring Julian Assange home and that's what we ask him to do right now.
right, we're gonna take it away now. Bye bye, beehive. Until the next time. This will be where we come for emergency action. It's been a few people walking past today and taking an interest, which is great. It's just what we want. Some people are like, who's Julian? That astounds me, really, but anyway. Some people are like, we're with her, and I think those people really need to do some more investigation. But anyway, here we are. Free speech, freedom of press. Not 1984, if we can help it.